Hey guys, today I wanted to do a quick little video all about my vanity. This is Vlogmas Day, I think it's six. I just wanted to do a quick view of my vanity. So I just wanted to show you kind of how I made it. I made it on the cheap because I am cheap. And also I just made it from stuff that I had around the house. And um, also some like Dollar Tree bin organizers and things like that. So I uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick tour. And don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. I have all my social media links down below at Coley G Apps. Okay, so here is my vanity. Um, it is super DIY'd and a little bit ridiculous, but I just thought maybe to give you guys some ideas if you were interested. It is on one of the walls in my bedroom. And as you can see, it's kind of like a smaller wall. So, and also I liked the desk, the really narrow that way that it doesn't stick out too far and <laughs> this is so narrow in fact this uh white part right here is actually an ikea shelf that is made to hang on the wall <laughs> and um actually have these hanging downstairs i will show you a picture of them i had them in my christmas video which is from vlogmas day one but i had an extra one because i had miscounted and i don't know if anyone else hates going back to ikea because it's like such a freaking chore so I bought more than I needed because I thought I might use it and then I didn't end up using it and there's no way I was going back to Ikea to either pick up another one or return it. So I hung on to it for about two and a half years until I found a purpose for it and here is the purpose for it. And I use it just as the desk portion of the vanity. This chair is also from Ikea and I had bought this initially for um, my desk as I worked from home. I repurposed it and I use a different desk because my actual working desk is downstairs and yeah this one doesn't really match the downstairs at all but I thought it looked cute in here and eventually I want to get like you know like one of those like fur faux rug things to put on the back and then like on the floor would be really cute but that's for another trip to Ikea that I'm not going on anytime soon. <laughs> so this thing right here and this thing right here are actually from my childhood 15-ish years old maybe more I don't know they're pretty old they have been painted about six or seven times I don't know if you can see let me see if I can find okay so here you can see that I repainted them and painted them a couple of times honestly don't know what color it was to begin with it's like one of those like faux particle board things that has I don't know it's really cheap but I painted it purple at one point in my life as a young child um, and these kinds of things I think you can find at like a Goodwill all the time um, because they are old and cheap and honestly if you just repaint them I think they look good enough so those were free for me so everything here nothing really cost me extra because I kind of had all of these things already I just wasn't using them in either a useful way or I wanted to repurpose them. So this is, I guess, like a repurposed sort of vanity situation. This I know is not attached. I want to eventually attach it to the wall so it doesn't slide around, but you know, haven't gotten around to that part. But I also think it looks really cute with the gold. This trash can, um, I don't know. I think I got this at Target when I had my office downstairs. And again, I just didn't like the desk downstairs having a visible trash can. So this is actually perfect for like my makeup wipes and for wiping the desk off and stuff. Um, I love this here and what else these drawers are actually drawers from this desk which is a stand of some sort it's like a filing cabinet with those drawers but the drawers are such garbage like they just fall off actually this is from Ikea as well the drawers just kept falling off because I either didn't assemble it properly or whatever but anyway I don't like the drawers and I wasn't using it over there because I'm using that as a nightstand. So I had this use for the drawers here. They just pull out from the bottom. This other last thing over here. Did I pay anything for this area? This last thing right here is a laundry cart that I had at our old house. It's like three or four years, five, six years old. I don't know. Our old house had a teeny, 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 tiny laundry room and we needed the extra storage and that's where this is from. And that basket I had bought for decor and used somewhere else and now I use it here. And this mirror I got at Goodwill. This is probably the one thing I actually bought but I didn't even buy it for this area. I just bought it um, because I liked the mirror. Actually, it's been in like three different places in my house because I can't decide where to put anything. And this mirror I use as my vanity and then these lights, which I'm sorry that are blinding you, but they are 
the only thing I think I bought for the vanity. They are because I bought them on Amazon specifically for lighting because the lighting in here is awful. This mirror I've had for 15 to 20 years as well and the batteries in it don't really work and I lost the cord. So the lights on here would probably have been sufficient but I don't know where they are. <laughs> I don't know where the cord is. And the lights over here, these from Amazon were very cheap and they just stick onto the wall. Not well. Okay, well now I can't prove it to you. But not well, honestly, because they do fall off of the sticky parts, but you could just stick them back on. So, you know, we're very classy here. And yeah, so on the top of my vanity here, quick tour, we have the uh, some lipstick up here is my favorite colors. This tray is from the Dollar Tree mason jar glasses because i am in love with mason jar glasses i have so many i just brought them from downstairs up here <laughs> this little pot is really cute um all these little beads and rocks are from the dollar tree as well the brushes are just you know brushes but the ones i keep up here i keep like these two close to here are the dirty ones and then the ones on the outside are clean obviously i need to clean my brushes then i have a fan for you know because i'm like so classy and fan off my setting spray <laughs> from the Dollar Tree. This is an Easter decoration that I never put away and forgot to put away and, and then I just put it here because I didn't want to pack it up because it's like a whole pain to go find the Easter decoration box. So now it sits here and it's holding some brats. <laughs> I have my life together. Anyway, so down here I have um, little baskets. These are all also from the Dollar Tree. These came in a pack of three, I believe. So three for a dollar, that's a heck of a deal. This one contains all of my powders, um, like face powders, like loose setting powders, face setting powders. This one is one of my favorites. Um, and then this one I also love. This one's like a brightening one. And this one I got from Ipsy. Actually, most of these I got from Ipsy. The only, one, the only ones in here that I have purchased myself um, are the Cody Airspun back here. And then um, this one, but this one is... Let's not talk about how old this is. Let's not talk about that. We'll ignore that. The next box I have is the um, is my blush box. Oh my gosh, they're, they're flying. Also, I don't know if I've purchased any of these specifically other than in like a subscription box because I'm obsessed with subscription boxes. Actually, I purchased one of these. This is really cute. I just got this like, I don't know, a month or two ago um, from a subscription box. But this one, oh my god. This is the only one I've actually purchased. Look how old it is. The ones I purchased are just insanely old. I mean, I don't, I don't know what to say. I actually use all of these colors except maybe this one because this one's a little bit harder to blend. But I actually use all of these blushes because I really like them. This one is really pretty. It's like this, um, let me show you. Isn't that really pretty? I really like this color. It's very, very pigmented, so you have to be like really careful, but I love that one. Anyway. Next drawer is the bronzer-ish drawer, also palette-ish drawer, I don't know. Actually, most of these I think I have purchased. So I did buy this one. I like this one. It's a little orange though for me. This one I bought, I think it's actually my best coloring, but I think my skin does not like coconut. And this smells like so much that way. And so I haven't used it in forever and I really want to, but I'm also afraid that it's gonna break me out again. So. I already have enough issues with that. This one I got in some kind of box. I don't know if I'm ever going to use that, honestly. And then this one just, <laughs> this was like my favorite like contour look and it's smushed. And now I'm afraid to open it and because the blush and the highlight in here are actually really pretty, but <sighs> we'll get to it eventually. I mean, this is a mess. Okay, so down here, these are my highlights. And also like other glowy products, like this is like what I don't even know, glow luminizer I guess for your body. These are like glowy highlights and things. This one also is smushed, but I just don't have the heart to throw it away. Look, it's so pretty. Anyway, anyway, these are all of my concealers, which for some reason I have a lot of. Um, they're all kind of running out though, honestly. I mean, this is like gone. Why do I still have this? Because I love this. It's just good for like a quick pop on if you want something quick and it looks really natural. Used all three of these colors. Um, 
I'm not much of a color corrector person, so I haven't used the green, but I really want another one of these. I got this at clearance at Walmart for like a dollar. I don't know if I can find this again. I really want to. Anyway, so this one's half empty. This one's half empty. This one's mostly empty, actually. This one's almost, this one's almost empty. It's really hard to get anything out. Um, this side over here is for my foundations, and I have, these are also Dollar Tree FYI. This is Dollar Tree as well, but I find the foundations don't fit in there very good. So if you're getting one of these for foundations, just be aware that most of them don't fit. I mean, just the tiny, not even like the tubes or anything. So it's like, I need, I need one of, I need one of these for over here, but I don't have another one at the moment. So, and I never think of it. This drawer is um, all skincare type of things, which obviously I use all of the time based off of how messy this drawer is. So that's that. This is just for clean brushes that I haven't been using. Also apparently my deodorant. And over here in the bottom drawer we have all my eye stuff. So these are my eyeshadow palettes, which oh my god I have so many. But most of them are from subscription boxes. Or like they were gifts. And I have, I bought very few of these honestly. Like these were gifts. This was a gift. This was a gift. This one I did buy because I'm, I really like the, um, I love Kathleen lights and I just love like the Zodiac stuff. So like I had to. Anyway, so this is my eyelashes, curlers, like extra eyeshadows, eyelash glue, that kind of a thing. Oh, that's in the it's okay. This tray, this one is a tree as well. Right over here we have, um, I sh not eyeshadow. We have face primers. Um, and uh, this one over here is like body sprays. And like, why do I have so many of some of these things? Because they're all from subscription boxes. Like, I get so many things. This one I really, really liked. I refilled. I forgot I had this. I'm going to use it. This one I actually use not as a setting spray, but as a um, face spray before my makeup. And then this one I is my absolute favorite right now. So, all of these are just pretty much useless at this point because I love it the most. And over here we have, um, these are like eyeliners and like, um, eye pencils, I guess. Really like eyeliners. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. This is my eyeshadow primer that I got from Ulta, which I cracked. Oh my God. Why am I so like, am I like the clumsiest person in the universe? What am I doing? Anyway, this is my, uh, painterly paint pot because I feel so fancy that I have a MAC product that I got like half price at Ulta on sale. And then... <laughs> Back here we have, this is my mascara. This is literally a cup. God, am I showing this to the internet? Just like how ridiculous this is. Anyway, these are adorable and I put my lipsticks in them. I tried to organize them kind of like shade or color or whatever, but like, you know, whatever. <laughs> mascara. I got this one subscription. The only ones of these I purchased, I purchased these two because I do like this one on like a natural day and then I liked this one, um... I feel like it does a good job, but like I bought this because like everyone said that it was really good and I think it's okay. It's actually really good for like volume, but I wish it did more lengthening. Um, these other ones came in a subscription. Um, this one, I, I really don't know if I like it. Like I like how long it makes my lashes, but I feel like it makes them like really like thin and I hate thin lashes more than I just like short lashes. Does that make sense? I think so. This turned out to be a way longer video than I thought it was going to be. And this is my desk. That was my vanity DIY tour sort of situation, I guess. Anyway, I hope it gave you guys kind of like an idea of what you might be able to find um, on the cheap and how you might be able to make something yourself if you were interested in it. But that's it for today. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to check out my social media links down below at Coley Cheops and check out tomorrow for the next day of Vlogmas, whichever day that is. Okay, bye! Thank you.